Vegetables are like energy drinks, man. You eat them and you like get all hyperactive. Everyone's heard of lamb lollipops and lamb chops. Today we're gonna make cauliflower chops. Here's a cauliflower. It's missing the cauliflower. You know, this little guy, the best it could ever hope for is being thrown in the stock pot, which I mean, cauliflower, a lot of brassicas kind of add a little bit of a sulfuric taste to the broth. So I've always obsessed over like what can be done with these. You know, part of what we do is kind of trying to look at things differently and reimagine them. And I don't know, one day it came to me. I saw a perfect little cauliflower chop. So first, I want to clean up any not so nice ends. Right now, we're just gonna chop the cauliflower. But we wanna just clean off these little guys. Dirt likes to hide in the grooves. No matter how well you wash it, you'll find little bits and pieces. You can go for a perfect little chop and don't worry about this scrap because this scrap also dices up really nice and makes a nice salsa. We're already rescuing something that is underappreciated and underutilized. So you see here we have our chops. So this we're gonna set aside for salsa, which we just cut into cubes, saute with some onions, and blast with a little bit of sushi vinegar. Use your imagination a little bit. They look like lamb lollipops. So we're gonna take our chops, nice to marinate them in something a little acidic, just to soften up the fibers. I like Worcester sauce, a small splash of lemon, can't do anything without salt and pepper, and a little bit of finely chopped garlic, just a touch of oil so we don't stick. So we're gonna put this away for four hours. So now we're all a few hours older. That acidic marinade has just softened it just enough. Now we're making lollipops, so we don't want it to be so soft. It tastes like mush, you know, we're kind of going for, if a vegetable tasted like a meat, what would it be? Now we're gonna just grill these little bad boys. And while those are grilling, let's run to the farm. We've got tomato leaves and a little bit of chard. So we're just gonna get a little bit of olive oil on these. We have a sushi restaurant and we go through tons of avocado. So the mushy ones are good for the moose and we have even more avocado seeds. Well, we figured out if you burn them, it makes a really cool mole. Just a little swipe of that. We got our chard down, our avocado mousse. And from another episode, we made some tangerine peel oil. Gonna add that citrus brightness to it. And uh, tomato leaves are really fun. We just have all these volunteer tomatoes that pop up around the restaurant. This is our version of vegan lamb chops. If you like what you see, please subscribe and like. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see us do, please let us know.